Hello, um, this is my chance to make another English video today um, and I have a special reason for that because I, I have read through a note on Facebook from a friend of mine, Claudia, and it is in English. And Claudia don't want to sit in front of a webcam and make videos like I do. And I said, but I really think these thoughts that should be spread. And I asked her for permission to read this text here on camera and share it with you. Um, another person I'd, I would really would like to greet here is Debbie McFarland. Um, yeah, here we here we are back in English, you know. Cool. Also, <laughs> okay. And the text is um, by Claudia Schrapp. Claudia Schrapps, yeah. Um, and it's called Human Experiences. And it goes like, my darling human, you must crawl into your wounds. To discover where your fears are because once the bleeding starts the cleaning can begin we always have the opportunity to choose how to look at situations in life if something is not the way our ego would like it to be it feels hurt and makes you being angry but don't forget and try to understand it's not the actions of people that makes you angry. It's your interpretation of, of their actions, your reaction to it. So we shouldn't blame them for our very own, for our very own interpretation. We are the one in control of our emotions and feelings. Focus on the good, we will feel good. Focus on the bad, we will feel bad. If you continue to talk about the drama in your life you don't want to have, it in, uh, have in it, you will continue to attract drama. So if your ego feels hurt, just sit there, close your eyes, and give your ego a go to shout as loud as it wants. Let it scream, rampage, yell, cry. Imagine what you really want to do to the most people that make you feel hurt. Let your ego act in your head as its own producer in its own horror movie and watch it. I just got an SMS. <laughs> I love it. But after that, tell your ego to shut up. Yeah. My ego, little interruption here, my ego has become a little monkey on my shoulder. I could isolate my ego from myself so I don't have to identify me, my higher self, through my ego. Now I have this monkey sitting on my shoulder here and I can do a lot of things by letting the monkey do it in me so I don't have to express it to the outside. That's why after that tell your ego to shut up. Do not focus on what people maybe want you to do. Don't think about what they would think about you if you do this or act like that. Because you never can anticipate why they really will, uh, what they really think about you. And more important, you can't please all of the people around you. You can please yourself, but no one else around you. If they have a problem with you, well, it's theirs, not yours. I know exactly where these thoughts come from. 
keep close to yourself. Do what your heart tells you. Follow your instincts and your intuition, for it's your higher self talking to you. You can trust it. Remain positive. There are no bad situations in life, this, as long as you make one. They all are there for you to learn. It's up to you if you want to think that situations are negative or positive. But be careful, because what you believe, because with what you believe in, you create your own reality. What you perceive is your perception. <laughs> the most, uh, the more you love your decisions, the less you need others to love them, and the less you will ever regret anything. When you no longer confuse yourself with the definition others have given to you, you are at once unique and universal. Try to remember who you are and where you come from. My very own answers to the most important questions of mankind are Where do we come from? Answer the stars. Where, uh, why are we here? Answer, to live and learn. Where will we go? Where we came from? To start it all over again until we have learned what we, want, what we have to learn. A big circle of life. It is not important to know all the answers. If you have faith in the right answer, uh, the right answers will come to you when you are <coughs> ready to know them. If you don't have faith well, the right answers will come to you when you are ready for them anyway. So take out the pressure. The things you need will come to you to the perfect time. Always. But the universe will give you what you need not what you want, especially, especially not what your ego wants. And most of the time it's not the same thing, what you want and what you need. Um, oh, there's so much going on here, uh, I have to keep track here. Um, most of the time it's not the same thing, what you want and what you need. And most of the time we don't want to see that, so we feel hurt and betrayed. We start to blame life or our fellow men. Home, homeboys, homie. But the truth is, we simply made the mistake of co uh, confounding things. We need to grow with things we want. We some, uh, so sometimes when things are falling apart, they may actually be falling into place. But in that moment we are not able to see it. We all have certain expectations and if they don't come true we're disappointed. And we tell our th ourselves that maybe it has its good side because it takes, any, uh, takes away the illusion of expectations. But isn't it also possible that we just can't expect our expectations, that we are just too impatient of wanting things, or in wanting things. Perhaps it is also true that for some of our expectations we simply have to spend more patience to wait for them to happen. Patience and our interest. We have to follow our inner signs that show us where we have to go to experience something that we want to experience. So if we don't get what we want, we make a problem out of it. But the problem is not the problem. The problem is our attitude about the problem. It doesn't matter what the problem is. 
if you want to change it, you have to do. Yet we all know that we're, that we're pretty good in finding, finding excuses why we can do this or do that. But that's just an illusion and the more comfy way to deal with the problems. I have a problem but I just can't do anything about it, so it's not my fault if I still have the same problem. Life is so cruel. An Arabic proverb says, if you want something you never had, you have to do something you have never done before. So you are able to change your life in every second of your life. First step is always dream about it. Paint yourself a picture of our, of how our life sh of how your life should be your way not the way society wants it to be second step is always have faith believe in it believe it believe in you third step is always start start from where you are use what you have and do what you can there is no excuse if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. If you want to change something, then you have to do something. And to do something means not finding excuses why you can't. Can't. You only need power when you want to do something harmful. Otherwise, love is enough to get everything done. So start to spread love to others and love yourself. It doesn't matter if your glass is half empty or half full. Be grateful that you have a glass and there's something in it. <laughs> I love you, Claudia. Awesome awesome put into words. Take some risks in life. There is nothing bad about taking risks. If you win, you will be happy and proud. If you lose, you will have made just another experience. And there is always a chance to learn from our experience. And it's not a bad thing at all. We're human. We are allowed to make mistakes, to fail, to fall, not put one on it, we're not just allowed, we're supposed to, you cannot learn if you don't make mistakes, we're supposed to make mistakes, so let's just stop blaming each other for it. Don't lose your faith, you get up and start again. Look at a baby who learns to walk, it's not like it's not like you will stand up and run, is it? There are hundreds of paths up the mountain, all leading to the same place. It doesn't matter which path you take. The only person wasting time is the one who runs around the mountain, telling everybody that his or her path is the wrong one, which is a Hindu proverb. We all are so afraid of failure and loss. But the truth is, it is just an illusion of mankind. Someone, somehow, somewhere started to tell this to people and they started to believe it. Like gravity and stuff like that. That's only there because we made it in our heads real. That's the, that's the only reason why we cannot fly. We all were brought up that way. But it is just an illusion, because we are all connected. We all are one. We all come from the stars, and we came from there, and we will go there, and we are in them because Earth is a planet and solar system in a galaxy is. We are in the stars. And we are not human. <laughs> Claudia and I are not human. We're no Homo sapiens, right? 
We know that we're not from Earth. We know that we are aliens. ETs. It was very nice to make this experience and to sit on a couch and finding out this person is not from this world. Yeah. The time will come when we will realize we are a spirit having a temporary human experience. That we hold all the secrets of the universe inside our hearts and we will never die because we are not humans, we are consciousness. We are something much more than just homo sapiens. We will live on forever as this consciousness and we are infinitely loved. I can tell you this, but it probably won't make any difference to you, but it makes to me, honey. But the same time will, uh, but the time will come, you will feel this for yourself, I'm sure about that. We all used to think like this, but it seems it's part of human experience that we have forgotten about this. Well, yeah, in this game we are playing, it has been a big part of work to put, all, put on all these filters and blends that make us forget. Forgetting is an active part. So, whoever you are, whatever you do, Live your life the way you want to do. Inspire, love, laugh, hope, dream, smile, grow, evolve. And then we are talking about evolution. So, last sentence, but never forget to be kind to others. For everyone you meet, is fighting his own hard battle. Let's get rid of this harsh way of coping with, with each other. Just This is just an invitation. No one has to follow. But I swear, those who will follow this invitation to stop fighting have no other option than living in peace. Peace, oh, oh no, we, we, we changed this, we made this, the peace finger last year, yeah. Peace. I forgot that. Yeah. Thank you very much, Claudia, for this. Text? I, text is not really the appropriate word for something that contains that much wisdom. Thanks to everyone who listens, thanks to everyone who shares, thanks to everyone who can take anything out of this. Man. And to all of those who cannot take anything out of this, just leave it. Just leave it to those who can. Just pass on, just don't worry. Doesn't matter if you don't understand a word of that, what we're saying here. Since um, everyone understands at its own time. And if you don't understand, don't feel bad about it. It's okay. No problem. We'll get there. Bye bye. <laughs>